Now moving on to the last section that is automation and the programmability. Now this is something uh, you know many people has been waiting for. So many people talk about something called SDN, software defined networking. So it's more about that. So it's more about software defined networking. So basically what is automation here is the, the simple definition of automation is the process of automating the configuration so basically your configuration or you're managing the things so it's like you're trying to automate the management process or maybe some kind of testing and even the deployments or or even it can be like different operations you do so probably the day-to-day -day operations you do that can be automated okay so it can be automated uh, within the devices whatever the devices you use in the network so that's what the automation now now the question is like okay so automation uh, will will make the process automated like most of the tasks what is the benefit over there so so the major benefit is it improves the efficiency and the basically efficiency like like if you take an example let's say there are 100 users or 100 end users working in your company or if you just take an example of any hospital where you have some 100 uh, patients, uh, doctors, the different people working over there and you have around 10 people who are responsible for managing. So basically day to day your, as your business grows that this number may make it multiplied. So maybe if each and every user is using one or two devices, they use their own personal devices. So the number of devices connect grows but still at the end the number of people uh, you, you manage basically that, that's not going to increase in general. So on the average, uh, most of the network engineers, so basically they, they spend around 95% of the time, you know, basically, you know, manual configuration. So 95% of the things will be manually configured. So which means each and every device you add in your network, it has to be manually configured. And on the average, you spend around more than 40% of the time in just doing troubleshooting. So the problem here, is, so the problem here is efficiency. So, so with automation, we can eliminate uh, most of the manual task, which will reduce the time consumption to more than ninety percent. So that, that that's where the automation plays a role here. So so basically, this is what the initial topics what basically covers, like how the automation impacts the network management. Uh, basically what is automation uh, as I already explained just now and how it's going to impact network management and then you are going to uh, compare the traditional networks which has been used before the automation with the controller based networking now, the, now what is exactly this controller based networking now let, let me give an idea here now basically we have the different devices let's say you got some routers now these routers are basically controlled by a controller just like uh, if you take an example you got an access point in wireless so basically all the access points are like dumb devices and these are managed and controlled by wlc the wireless LAN controllers now similar way we can we can do the similar thing by a controller now controller is just like a brain of these devices where your routers and switches are more like a dumb devices where they don't decide or they don't have any control plane to decide the forwarding path so they're all connected uh, basically and this controller is responsible to decide or it's like a brain which will decide the forwarding path so so what is controller it's like a control plane which decides the forwarding path where how the traffic is going to be sent or you can also say it's like a remote control you know, just like you have a remote control where you actually control the devices from a single single point Okay, so you, you not only control the devices, basically you also control what are the applications you generally uh, have access to, to the end users. And uh, additionally, there is something called API. API stands for Application Program Interface. Now basically this API is uh, responsible for talking between, the, between these two. So it's like a communication between the controller and the devices is done with the help of something called API. So that's what you'll see here. You, you see something like APIs. Again, there is a northbound, southbound APIs. 
so northbound we stocks here southbound here so basically a little bit more in detail I'm, I'm not you know again getting into more details here right now because I just want to give an overview of the contents but then you also need to know the exact uh, the process here so that's what understanding the different types of software defined architectures again you have different types of architectures the basic differences between them so basically you you learn here and additionally you'll be getting into some other concepts like DNA now what this DNA uh, do exactly is DNA stands for digital network architecture so it's a kind of open platform API or uh, we can say AP uh, this DNA is uh, it's a kind of software based automation or assurance solution from Cisco so we have something called Cisco DNA Center a software we can say which is going to do most of the automation jobs like uh, it provides you it, it you can do some management of your devices from a single dashboard uh, and additionally you can also do some kind of centralized management from here and it's a more simplified one dashboard where, where you can manage all from a single place so additionally you can do automation so automation is just like you know you can discover automatically the new new devices and you can also uh, automatically you know configure or deploy the devices and also you can get some detailed ana analytics basically some analytics is just like the information of each and every device uh, connected here and also provide some security feature uh, also like like threat defense you can also integrate with Cisco eyes so basically this DNA provides uh, some kind of faster deployment with automated features so probably you'll be getting into like what is DNA center enables divide management and additionally you will also learn some other options like uh, rest based APIs now now API already explained that API is, is is something you know the interface which interacts between the controller and the devices now this API basically there are different types of APIs used uh, generally again this DNA is a kind of open standard one and this API uh, this APIs which are used here like rest API this actually uses some kind of UTP request to get the information basically to, to push the information by using some functions basically okay so you will be learning that and additionally you also need to know some of the configuration management mechanisms now now basically what is uh, configuration management means it's like a process of controlling uh, the changes in the software like let's say you're using some kind of software management uh, basically you, you're going to control the changes in the software as per the requirement or as per the requirement or as per the design or what is the functionality you want to do basically that is what uh, talks about control management mechanisms now the now the tools uh, the mechanisms used here the puppet chef you know these are the tools these are some of the languages uh, based on some DSL Ruby so there's a specific language here now this language is used to automate this uh, this these things you know the infrastructure provisioning or these things across multiple devices so you'll be getting into some identifying those things and then finally you will be seeing some kind of basic uh, programming uh, interpretation of something like JSON uh, it's actually a kind of data format which has its own dependent libraries um, for programming languages so it's like you know interpreting some kind of basic codes in general so it's not like the complete but this section talks more about automation and the programmability options here so this is what all Cisco have in this new CCNA pattern so basically from February 2020 you will be tested on these exams as I have already mentioned these are the three main things it covers like wireless security and the automation and the programmability options in this new version